fairly long shot for me actually with a traditional bow, but made a great shot on it. I couldn't even speak, I don't think, for a second. I was staring at it because I was like, this can't be. It just never happens. And I'm like, holy, this is going so fast. I've been filming my hunts for probably 10 or 12 years. Just joined up with a friend. I think originally we just filmed our hunts to show each other and a few friends. And it was actually a lot of fun. Just get together in the evening, once a year, show our footage. We could go way back, probably 25 years now, I would say. Uh, I remember uh, we took over a BMA for a friend of Rick's in, uh, Capis or in Timmins. And, uh, we had no VHS camera, that the thing weighed 20 pounds. We had no camera arm. Uh, it was done video in probably an hour before legal shooting light was over, like it was terrible. But we did it and we had a really good time at doing it. And the footage we got over the years has been awesome. Like, and really for just a bunch of guys starting out, just to video their own hunts, just for fun. And uh, we came to realize probably very early on that uh, Especially Bruce and myself, we've been hunting together uh, 25 plus years and uh, one guy videos, one guy hunts and uh, hunting is a solo sport but when you have somebody there to share it with, when something happens really neat, like uh, there's nothing like being there in real time like, and the video can relive that for you. And I took quite a few animals on, on video and it progressed and eventually I hooked up with Just Us Hunting. Well, this is my first chance to get out deer hunting for the 2010 season. Just got home from a successful moose hunt with the guys of Just Us Hunting. So now it's time to get into the deer hunting mode. Hopefully the deer are moving around before dark. It's a bit warm right now. It's supposed to get cool by evening. I'm looking forward to it. First day out. Leaves are nice. Weather's good. Uh, hopefully at least see something tonight. This particular deer was early in the season. We had lots of tags. It was a nice, neat deer. Offered a good opportunity. A fairly long shot for me actually with a traditional bow, but made a great shot on it. It ran off in the direction of a massive cattail swamp. Well, the first deer hunt of the year for me. Just got a shot at a nice doe. Got a good shot on her. I'm gonna get down now before it gets dark. It's really wet and swampy out there. Well, that's good. Pretty happy. Well, there she is. She must have went 200 yards. I can't believe it, it was a pretty good shot. Some of the meanest real estate. I'm all out of breath. I dragged her back here, but 40 yards before it gets dark so I can be sure to find her again. But good hunt for the first day. Well, that was a good shot, nice deer. Ended well. Took the pressure off and then hunt for a box after that. This segment brought to you by Lake Huron Chrysler. 
The tip of the week is brought to you by The Bear Essentials, your wilderness experience guides. Well, today I'm out with my uh, my dog here and out doing some bird hunting and managed to get a nice rough grouse here. And how do you tell the difference between the uh, male bird and the female bird? Well, you just spread the tail, fan it out like that, and if you've got a solid bar across the back of the tail, it's a male bird. And if it's broken in the center, it's a female. And that's your Just Us Hunting Tip of the Week. The deer population now is actually very poor, but six, eight years ago there was lots of deer, lots of tags. Now there's very few deer, very few tags, lots of coyotes. We've had a couple of tough winters. Coyotes in the cattle business don't mix. We have cows, head cows and calves. The coyotes were an issue. It's, uh, it's frustrating when you find a, a newborn calf with his hind quarter eaten off and he's still alive. So I have no love or respect for coyotes. So when I see one, I take the shot. I see a couple of coyotes a year, and usually they're gone before you even get to half draw, but the odd one's not paying attention. Yeah, morning hunt for deer, just nothing going on. I see a coyote coming down the deer trail, so it's really hard to get the camera on, get it turned. Uh, I believe this coyote stepped off the camera just when the arrow hit him, but he came on the wrong side. Of course, the camera arm's wrapped around your body and you can't get it pulled around far enough, but... I am filming myself, and it is difficult. If they, if they come on the right side, you can get the camera turned with your right hand. If they come on the left side, you kind of got to get it wrapped around yourself, hopefully get it pointed the right direction. Doesn't always work out. But you're definitely a busy person for those 35 seconds that he's within sight. Well, the deer hunting's been crappy this morning, but got a shot at a coyote. Well, I centered him. I'm gonna go find him here now. Time to go home anyways. Nice day for hunting. But gotta feed cattle like every other day. Well, there he is. I guess he couldn't take her. That should save a couple of deer this winter. There you go, coyote with a recurve. That'll teach his friends to be not coming by me. <laughs> I'm in the cattle business. And I like to hunt deer, so when I see a coyote, I take a shot. Late in the season, when the snow is on the ground, if I haven't managed to shoot a big buck during the rut. I have a couple of tags left. I will put out a bait. I, I uh, struggle with that a little bit, but we have a bunch of friends come down and late in the season, fill the freezers and I participate and shoot the odd deer off the bait. Well, it's mid-December. Got some snow on the ground, you can see. Sitting by some old apple trees. Still a few apples left on them. Actually, a fair few tracks down at the bottom. This has been one of my favorites in here. Never actually shot anything here, but I often see deer here. So. It's been a long season so far. Hopefully tonight, just trying for something for the freezer. Even a, like a yearling would be good. Don't really want a big old buck unless he's a real trophy, but We'll see when he comes out. Getting pretty desperate to get a shot. Yeah, that was in the peak of the deer. There was there was lots around. So late in the season, I'm somewhat justified in taking one off the bait if I've passed up quite a few. The venison is still a treat for me. Even after all these years, I still enjoy it. I'm in the beef business, but venison's still good. Well, here it is. It's uh, December. <laughs> Sorry, you have to cut that out. <laughs> okay, we'll cut that out. Jackie's.
he's hunted a few times with the bow this year and we haven't been lucky yet. But Hopefully tonight and uh, we'll see how we make out. Uh, come along with just us hunting and uh, see how we go. <laughs> Jackie's hunt, uh, it wasn't cold but we had a lot of snow and uh, we had the opportunity to hunt on uh, a friend of mine had some property. He had a little blind set up and uh, he just phoned me one night and he says, uh, do you want to take your wife out? He says, I got lots of deer coming to this field and uh, if you want to take your wife out, this is going to be a great place for it. I went because I probably had nothing else to do that afternoon and he's always having these, okay, we're going to go here and the deer are going to come this way and this is a great spot and we're putting you here because you're going to see something. This is a for sure thing. I, I've been through these for sure things so many times. The night we were there, uh, the first deer to show was uh, the deer Jackie ended up harvesting. And uh, it was funny, it was early in the night and uh, all of a sudden I was sort of sitting on the left hand side of the blind and the deer came from the left hand side and it had a huge window, like massive in the front. I thought we're never going to shoot a deer, like they're feeding right in front of us in this old cornfield. and. It's like 18 yards to the corn, and I'm thinking, there's no way. Well, we weren't there very long, and there were deer across the field, but they were a long way away. Nothing came even remotely close. They were, I think, maybe three or four does. They were very far away, and they were busy eating, and, and I had made up my mind before I went in there that they weren't going to come close, and. They didn't. This segment brought to you by APA Bows. This one time memory is brought to you by Lake Huron Chrysler, bringing the fun back into buying a vehicle. Out of all the successes I've had, the one thing that I remember is probably when my son was hunting in a tree right next to me. I had it stand just above him. It was his first deer hunt and he took his time, did everything right, just like I taught him, and he ended up taking an Ohio Big Buck his very first time out. And this is a memory I'll never forget. Well, I was watching them. They were sort of a little bit to my right, and uh, I just kept watching them and looking around because you're supposed to keep scanning and looking. So I did, because that's what you're supposed to do. And besides, when he's sitting right there, you kind of have to show that you're taking some interest, right? Um, and I, I looked to the fence row to my left, and there was a buck standing there. And of course, I'm right away. I want to see it, because I want to get the camera on it. And she's telling me, quit moving, quit moving. Like, and I'm like, Jesus, like, don't be like that. Like, I've got to get this on video. I couldn't even speak, I don't think, for a second. I was staring at it because I was like, this can't be. It just never happens. And I knew he couldn't see it because of the position of the blind. And I was trying to very quietly, you know, give him the nudge and say, I see a buck. And he was looking at me like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, but it really was a buck and it walked out. And. Uh... I'd, I was trying to move, trying to move, and finally the deer come across the front of the, front of the blind. I could see, and it was a nice buck, a nice eight-point buck. My distance, you know, yardage, I, I'm not very good at that, judging. So Carl always gives me hints that, you know, if it's between here and here, this is 15 to 20. So I suppose he was probably about 25 yards when he walked to, around and, and I thought, I'm not gonna shoot him until I think he's more at about 20 because I feel more confident shooting at about 20 yards. I want to kill the animal. I don't, I never want to think that I've just wounded something. So I, I let him walk around this spot in the corn. I know what deer like and especially bucks and they don't give you a lot of opportunities and the deer came and turned on the corn and it's sitting there eating and I'm trying to get her to shoot. Like I got the camera running, everything's perfect. It couldn't be better. And she's just sitting there looking at it. I, well, Bruce could relate to, to hunting with Carl and what he's like. He gets on your nerves a bit. 
because he's so ex he's excited to the extreme. It's like, calm down. This animal could turn and walk away. He could go a hundred directions, and you know, no one's forcing him to walk in front of me. I knew Carl was getting at this point a bit agitated because I wasn't doing anything, but I didn't want to move, and I wanted to let the deer come a little closer. I'm trying to whisper to her, and she's doing nothing. So I get my hand, and I try lifting her, her arm that's holding the crossbow, and she's going, and she's giving me heck, and I can do it. And I'm like, holy, this is going so fast. This is something I want to do on my own, and I know he sets me up to have um, success, but there is a point at which he needs to just sit there and run the camera and leave me be. And he finds that very difficult. The deer stopped a couple of times and he was completely broadside. So it would have been an excellent and he was completely broadside to it. But Carl wanted me to do it. So he's trying to film and he's trying to raise my arm up. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to tell him to knock it off. And so, and you know, you can't make noise. So I'm just looking at him like dagger eyes, like leave me alone. And uh, I know he's getting frustrated because I'm not doing anything, but I'm waiting. Closed captioning brought to you by The Archery Place. Vehicle graphics supplied by Artec. The Hunter Profile is brought to you by APA. We are not the same. Hi, I'm Ryan. My buddies call me crazy. I've just been hunting for just over a year now, so uh, my favorite species I've picked out probably would be wild turkey. I like that you can talk to them, they can talk to you, you pretty well know where they are in the woods. I guess my ideal uh, hunt would probably be going shotgun hunting down in uh, down the Midwest somewhere for wild turkey. Take my buddy Scotty with me. He influenced me into getting into hunting. I'm Ryan and this is my profile. The buck took off running across the field and right away she's into the teary almost and crying and no I missed him and I said no you you didn't miss him. Carl was pretty certain that it was an okay shot, but I wasn't, I still wasn't convinced of it. Yeah, she was a little apprehensive. She said, oh, it must have been a bad shot. And like, no, I rewound the camera and looked at the shot and it was a good shot. But uh, you know yourself, sometimes you can shoot an animal right through the heart and they run forever. The next time they'll fall over on the spot. So it's neither, there's no script for them. They just do what they do. He runs off and he looks like he's running off. He, he's too lively to be shot. <laughs> If you know what I mean, like he's just, if I, if I did a good job and if I shot him correctly, he shouldn't be running that fast. We waited probably 15, 20 minutes and there was way more deer come into the field. And we watched them for a while and before it got too dark, we got out of the blind and walked over and sure enough, we found Jackie's arrow and a good blood trail. And she did it all herself, like really, I, all I did was film it. She, she did a good job, the deer come in, it stopped. I would have shot a little quicker, but in hindsight, she got the deer and it was all good. Buck looks like it uh, definitely jumped the fence here. And uh, we can see Jackie's arrow is uh, sticking in the snow here. The buck walked probably another 150 yards into a thick cedar swamp and it was dark in there by the time we found him, but we did recover him and it was a good shot. There he is. Right on, Jack. Right on. Well, you get to the point where you don't know if you should be happy about it or you're sad about it because you took this deer's life, but at the same time, it's what I was trying to do. So it was good, but it was bad. And I don't know, it's just like a whole mixed bag of, yeah. So then I cried because I'm emotional anyway. And <laughs> Nice buck. Awesome.
I was happy. Like I, it was it was choking me up. Like she was she was crying, and then I was almost crying. Like it was uh, it was pretty exciting. Not bad for a first buck ever, even with a gun or a bow. Oh my God. It's kind of heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a nice buck, Jack. Really nice. Oh, awesome. Really good. That's exciting. That's a nice deer. There is only a first time, and uh, this will be one of the best first times. The more exciting. Oh. <laughs> now I feel I feel confident. I go by myself all the time. I don't necessarily tell anybody that I'm going out. I could, if I get home from work early, I can get my stuff on and get my bow and go out and just leave a note, say where I am and head out on my own and I even I took my dad on his last hunt of his life was with me so that was cool. So us hunting would like to thank these great sponsors Rescue 7, AEDs saves lives, Cold Fire Canada, our mission everyone gets home safe, Dynablast industrial hot and cold pressure washers, APA bows, choose your venom, the archery place, offering you a wide range of archery products and services. Lake Huron Chrysler, bringing the fun back into buying a vehicle. Arctex Signs and Graphics. Howitzer Arrows, be the difference. The Bear Essentials, your wilderness experience guides. And Altan Safe Outdoors, your first front in the hunt. If you have videos of your hunt and you'd like to see them on this show, go to our website, justushunting.com, and email us directly. Who knows, maybe you'll see your hunts right here on Just Us Hunting. Enough to be free. I just go on and